Hello and welcome to my channel, Kuromos here. Today I am bringing you a pure Tempest Cleric. This is a build focused on thundered and electric damage. However, it is thought out to be for a hardcore run. So we will focus on toughness and solid concentration saving throws. If you want to destroy your enemies with thunder and radiance, then this is for you. Before I introduce the build summary, let me tell you I will start very shortly a challenge run in this channel. This is the second build for Shadowheart. Very likely we will be starting next week. An update will be posted in the community tab very soon. As for today's build, we are going for a full Tempest Cleric build. We are going to focus on defense and survivability. And since we are staying in the front line, we will choose Heavy Armor Master and Warcaster as our first feats. We will also have decent strengths to help us to thrive through the early game. A Tempest Cleric will let us maximize an Electric or Thunder ability once per short rest, twice after level 6, which is a phenomenal skill if we combine it with the Wet Condition. We will also have a reaction to retaliate when we get hit. This will help us a lot since we want to be in the front line taking hits. We will also get access to powerful magic like Cold Lightning, Spirit Guardians and Destructive Wave among others. Kindly read the description of this video to understand my thought process and some considerations for these guides. Also, click the button down below to support my content. Without delay, let's begin. So we start as a cleric, we get to choose our cantrips, nothing really special. Our domain of course will be Tempest Domain. We get Wrath of the Storm, that is the knockback ability that I spoke about before. As for our ability points, we're going to put a lot of focus into Strength and Wisdom with a little bit of Constitution. We will round up our Strength at 18 by choosing Heavy Armor Master that will reduce incoming damage. At level 2 we continue as Cleric, we get our first Channel Divinity Charges, Turn Undead and Destructive Wrath that will let us maximize the damage of an Electric or Thunder source. You can see my spell choices and recommendations. I missed to choose Sanctuary here, it's a very strong spell as well. Other great choices are Inflict Wounds or Guiding Bolt. Keep in mind as a cleric, every time you level up, you will have all the spells inside your spellbook. So it's a very flexible class because you can always adapt, try new spells or change your configuration as many times as you want. Of course, as long as you are not inside combat. Here in the recording, I went for Warcast at character level 4, but I was thinking most likely I will go for Heavy Armor Master first. The main reason is you are more vulnerable in the early game. I truly believe the extra damage reduction will really help in this portion of the game. At character level 5, the party begins since we get Call Lightning. So this is a superb spell that we need to concentrate to cast thunders every single turn. Very powerful indeed, as long as we don't get interrupted. Mass healing word, super powerful as a bonus action to heal everyone in your party, as well as spirit guardians. And at level 6 we get a passive thunderbolt strike. When we hit people with thunder or electric, they will get a small knockback if they are normal or large in size. At character level 7 we get Ice Storm always memorized as part of the domain selection and we get to choose our spells and we continue. At level 8 we get a very cute passive Divine Strike Thunder, it will add 1d8 electric damage once per turn because imagine if you add this up twice you could break the game right? And as I said before here I will take Warcaster and at level 4 Heavy Armor Master after putting some thought into it. At Cleric level 9 we get access to level 5 spells. You have really very strong choices for you to take as well as you get access to Destructive Wave and Insect Plague. Also very two powerful choices. On the next level you get Divine Intervention. I'm not telling you what this does because it's a bit of a spoiler. As for the spellbook you continue updating it and then we move on into the final levels. At level 11 we get access to level 6 spells. We will only get a single slot. Hero's Feast is amazing because it's a party buff 
that lasts until long rest and does not require concentration. Another great choices are Blade Barrier or Planner Alley if you want to summon somebody to aid you in battle. For the last feat we improve our wisdom and then as usual I show you which items I will be using for the combat showcase. Nothing extremely powerful, just to show you a bit how the character works, what spells are you supposed to have and how the character and the skills behave on the battlefield. Of course this is a party member to be part of a team in a hardcore challenge so there are some considerations that I took to make this a little bit different build than usual. A bit more focus on extra health, extra resistance that maybe if you play normally you don't need to focus that much on those aspects. So for this kind of scenario where we are alone and then we have multiple enemies, what is going to work best is of course Spirit Guardians. So we go for an upcast to try to get some decent damage and we focus on finishing off the Sorcerer as usual. So he tries to leave from melee and since we have War Caster we get a free cast of Shocking Grasp. I decide to save Destructive Rust and he gets absolutely toasted. As usual, let me know in the comments what do you think of this build. If you were to do a hardcore run, what uh, what classes do you think are good for such an endeavor? And if you had to include a cleric, what would you do? Would you go for the most conservative option, like a life cleric? Or a light one? Or would you go for a more defensive build, like this one or something else that comes to your mind? Let me know, I'm always curious. I think that is also part of the beauty of this game, like you can do many combinations and you will always have some discussion like okay this is better, this is worse, but all the options are kind of viable, you know, so it's not like a best option unless you use some of the broken feats like Tavern Brawler and all these that I don't use those myself because they make the game way too easy, right? So here the key combo of this build, I cast Create Water, the enemies get wet, and then I cast Lightning for maximum damage. And then you just destroy everyone. As simple as that. The main takeaway for this build is I want somebody that can do strong healings, be a strong frontliner, and then when I need damage, that they can also put some big numbers. That is the main thing that I'm looking for with this build. I'm also aware that some of you guys requested some specific builds. I did not forget, okay? I'm just like to do some requests and I mix them with the builds that I had in mind myself. But I have taken note and in due time I will post these as well. As usual, I hope you enjoyed the video, thank you very much for watching and see you in the next one, adios!